Hey my Beauty Fit family, I have got a great makeup tip today. You've probably seen me share it in the past if you follow me on Facebook, but this one is one of my favorites. It's a quick one and it is going to totally transform the way you do your makeup every day. What this tip is, is a way to kind of clean up that eyeshadow and to create a lifted, more youthful, awake, open eye. And you'll notice I have some eye makeup on, but I don't have any concealer or foundation on. And personally, I like to do my eye makeup first because then when I go and I do my foundation and concealer, it's really easy to clean any of that fallen um, powder or anything that's smeared. If I, you know, got eyeliner kind of down here or something, it's easy to get it off and I don't have to go through and redo makeup that I've already applied. I know a lot of people like to do their foundation and concealer first and they do their eyes last. There's no right or wrong way. Do what works best for you. This is the way that works fastest for me and I just like it because it's easy cleanup and I'm done. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more shadow so you can kind of see how um, in the corner we tend to, you know, when you're creating a crease and you're kind of contouring the shape of your eye, as you're working here on the outside of your eye, you're going to get shadow that tends to fall down. And that is what is going to give you the appearance of having a tired or um, droopy eye. If you've ever been asked, oh, you look so tired. Did you get enough sleep last night? And you're like, what do you mean? I slept great. Do I really look that bad? Most likely it could be something that you could easily fix with your eye makeup. And so I love this trick and it's super easy to do. And I'm about to do it. So I've got my eyeshadow. You can see where there's a little bit of fallout and where it's um, kind of coming down below the corner of my eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first put on my foundation. And the reason I do foundation first before I do concealer is because if I were to put on a foundation that matches my skin tone over um, a concealer where I'm trying to highlight and bring emphasis out, then I'm putting a dark color over what I've lightened, so therefore I'm kind of cackling out the effect. So I've got my foundation on my hand, I've got my foundation brush, this is by IT Cosmetics, and it is the best brush that I've ever used for um, applying foundation. And so what I'm going to do as I go in, and this is step one of canceling that out, is as I go in under my eye, I'm going to sweep up from the corner of my eye up toward the edge of my eyebrow and you can already see that it's starting to clean up. Let me go in and get around my nose too. But this, oh I love this brush. One thing that's really great about the uh, brushes from A Cosmetics is they are really high quality and they're made with um, a great um, hair or fiber so they don't shed. So when you're applying the eyeshadow corner of the eye to corner of the eyebrow and hopefully you can already tell that my eyes are looking so much more lifted and awake. So foundation done. If you want a trick to blending along your jawline, you know when you see women and they've just got like this dark line going right down their jawbone? You can easily just brush down, but if you want to make sure you get it, this is a really unattractive tip, but kind of push your head back to where the skin folds down, almost like you're giving yourself a double chin. and easy enough, blend it down, you have no stark line on your dolly. So the next thing that I'll do before I finish up my face makeup is get some of my foundation and I use the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream by IT Cosmetics. I have neutral medium and I absolutely love this um, under eye cream because it really, really covers well and a little bit goes a long way. It's super concentrated. It's not um, full of harsh ingredients that are going to be rough around the eyes that burn. If you tend to have sensitive eyes and products around your eyes kind of burn or make your eyes water or get red, this one is awesome. It's got collagen for plumping and um, filling out so you've got those fine lines and vitamin C. So I've done just a little tiny dot and now I've spread it with my, um, I've got the IT Cosmetics Dual Ended Brush. So I have the small end and I'm going to go in and go under my eye and now what I'm going to do is you see a lot of people do concealer and they just kind of sweep it under. What you want to do to really lift and contour and shape your face 
is to create almost like a triangle going out. So I've gone under my eye and there I'm sweeping up. And now you can see how much it really cleaned that eyeshadow up and any of the fallen shadow. And do the other eye. We gotta be symmetrical because I don't wanna look like I've got one droopy lazy eye. And kinda go up. Now what I'll do is take the big fluffy end of my brush and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna use this to really blend it in so if it, you know, if you put a little much on, blend it out and just kind of rub it and smooth it in, make sure it gets into any of those little creases and fine lines. And always lifting up, kind of working against gravity. We gotta fight gravity as much as we can to get rid of those wrinkles and sagginess. So here you can see I've got my concealer on. My eyes are now not being pulled down by shadow that's fallen down, but been lifted up by makeup. It's a super easy trick and I love it. I hope you incorporate it into your daily routine. If you don't have a foundation brush or a concealer brush like what I've got through It Cosmetics, if you have just one of these little foam makeup applicators that you can get at like Target or your local drugstore for or Sally's for like really really cheap. Um, you can take that also and sweep up to catch any of the fallen shadow and boom, you're done.